Hello everyone, I'm going to present to you guys the ethical SWOT analysis and its benefits for companies. So first, let me do a quick brief explanation of SWOT. So a SWOT analysis is an analytics tool techniques that investigates an organization in the context of developing strategic planning, competitive advantage building, or so marketing based on four aspects, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, or the other word is the risks. Um, next is the origins of SWOT analysis. This SWOT origins now is still uncertain. There is no clear evidence of who the author is, but from time to time, the SWOT analysis had got adapted and alternated with causes what to have many versions. And later, some research credited the SWOT to the teams of Harvard Business School and the Stanford Research Institute, and it's become a SWOT analysis today. So now, let's move to the main theories of the SWOT analysis. In the tables below, the four aspects of SWOT will be categorized by internal and external vertically and positive and negative horizontally. The internals mean the things that are located within the organizations in the present matter, which the firm has the power to control these elements, while the externals mean the factors that depend on the outside environments of the organizations, and it is something that's lying in the future. For example, it is the influences the circumstances or situations that happens outside in which the business has the limited power to control these elements. And lastly, the strengths and opportunities are represented as positive ethical influences, while the weaknesses and threats are represented as negative ethical influences. Next, I will explain some SWOT analysis, but now it is in the ethical point of view. And the distinct characteristics of ethical SWOT is, it's not not emphasize the elements to make money, but it focuses on the ethical elements like the transparency, the honesty, or the sustainability that affect the organization's reputation and its stakeholder decisions. And moreover, from an ethical perspective, the external factors can also be found within an organization if the risks or opportunities are caused by the internal actions of the organization actor. And this is some guideline to give you guys a better understanding of so ethical SWOT analysis. And as you can see, the questions will be asked for the ethical elements instead of the normal SWOT analysis that is about making a profit. And you guys can apply it to your family business or any businesses that you may think of. And it is to see some point of view of the four aspects of SWOT based on the business ethics. And if you if your business like answer yes to some parts of these questions, your business is performing on the ethical part. And next is how the ethical SWOT analysis benefits to companies. And the ethical SWOT analysis make advantages for businesses in several ways. For instance, it helps to understand more of the business overall performance in four aspects of SWOT. And it's increased the company reputations and stakeholder credibility. And it helps direct and keeps the business to the ethical part that benefits in the long term. And lastly, it helps to develop business goal and strategy to achieve. And next is about business context. Um, the first is the case, the first example is the case of Nicola Scandro. And the, Nicola is an American EV startup from Arizona, and the owner's name is Trevor Mutants. And Nicola produces zero emissions long range vehicles that utilize electric cities and hydrogen as a source of power. However, in September 2020, Nicola faced a public outrage for the fault claims about the introduced trucks, and the trucks that were used in the demonstrations for the public are seriously unfinished and fake, and this, caught, and this created the dissatisfactions for both customers and stakeholders of Nicola, and as a consequence, it caused a huge reduction in public trust, as well as the withdrawals of Nicola's stakeholder, and then the Nicola's deportations turned upside down for the world. After that, the Travers resigned from his fault dishonesties, and the root cause of this scandal is the internal threats of the internal actors. Travers and other executives perform a poor leadership quality to lie to the public about their trucks, and this is a sense of dishonesties and faults in Nicholas management that was brought by the authority failures of decisions making and punishments. And another case is the Boeing case, and a senior Boeing engineer came up with the internal Ethics complain that Boeing has rejected the safety system to minimize the cost. So, this is a real internal threat that caused by the internal actors of Boeing to make a failure of ethical decisions making to pass the TSR before the TSI. Also, 
There's a report from Patterson that there's a violation of Boeing engineer and managers in some ethical principle. For instance, the first fundamental canon stated that the, pro the professional engineers must hold paramount the safety, health, and welfare to the public, and to focus on the total shareholders' returns rather than the total social impact is simply wrong. The vital safety devices that is the main cause of this disaster were not installed as the aircraft manufacturer charged for the extra money, and this is just to make a profit. And Boeing wanted to save the cost. So these two cases are a very good example to show how the threats can be located within the organizations. At least two firms have failed in terms of making strong ethical decisions makings. And thank you for listening and here's my reference.